Hey folks, so uh, sorry about the absence of late. Uh, I had a couple of personal items going on in my life that needed to take priority and uh, truth be told, I at the same time I also think I needed to take a bit of a break from uh, YouTube and YouTube videos as well. So thank you for understanding. Now, moving back on to things. Uh, today we're looking at Pop OS 2404 LTS. This is of course the alpha. And uh, what makes it so special is that it's the first alpha with a hopefully semi-complete uh, new interface that they've been building up the Cosmic Desktop. So we're just going to go through the installation, which of course it starts here. We go select English, US, English, US, keyboard, default, input, US. I'm going to just use a clean install. Select the drive, erase and install, full name. And we're gonna choose a very strong password. And I'm not going to encrypt the drive, but it's great to see that option out of the box. And I'm gonna let it run what it needs to do, and we'll be back once it's moved on to the next step. Okay, that was very quick. Either this thing didn't install or something's not right. So, okay, it looks like I'm wrong. It's just very, very quick to install. Okay, that must have taken 30 seconds. So first thing here is let's fix resolution. So I guess it's this. Yeah, oh, this is nice. Uh, appearance, displays, 920 by 1080, keep the changes. And first impressions is, wow. I mean, I can't remember the last time a Linux just turned so so quickly. Good grief, that's amazing. And starting off, of course, we have a workspace here that, okay. Applications, library, office. System, utilities, and you can add a group. And down here we have a search. So let's type in Firefox. Ah, and this has a shortcut again, which I really, really love. So control eight, open up devices. I double click to make it bigger. I can drag it down from the top, drag it back up, drag it to the side. Okay, close it. Uh, open up files again expand it and the f it's just so quick click on view give me the info about those files okay took him out when lost they did a git commit uh show hidden files great to see that option just there uh list view root view okay you can't Right click or add more here. That's fine. Go back to grid view and just like grid view. Go to the settings. Oh, great. Direction, ascending or descending. You can change the theme, grid view, list view. Okay, so these settings don't seem to change here when I do that. And change the icon size. I oh, want it's a different size if you want list or grid. You know, that's a neat function. Now, how often uh, I've actually wanted this type of feature on an iOS where if I've changed it from list to grid, uh, I almost want the icon sizes to be different. So that's a nice, small, handy little feature. Edit, copy, paste, select all, file, new tab. Oh, okay, so this is tab here. That's awesome. Uh, new file. Okay, then open, move to crash close tab. And then there's this thing here, which hides the navigation panel or shortcuts here. Okay, so that is that. Uh, okay, let's try to click for a space of accident. So I'll just click file, quit that over there. Okay, and then of course clicking here, getting all these options, cosmic text editor. Just drag that to make it bigger. View settings. Changing the font. 
syntax highlighting, enable them key bindings. Yeah, let's close that. What? Okay. I'm just gonna disable that function quickly. Was mine and didn't seem to work for some reason. Ah, okay. So this seems to be here pretty universal, this here. Having a different location or having the navigation pane. It's nice. I'm just going to disable the bindings because I found mine didn't type when I, you know, tried to type with it on. Could be a bike, could also be me, maybe. I haven't used this for a long time. Uh, wow. And, uh,. Okay, carrying on back to settings, we've seen all of these, text type, editing, spell check. Okay, that doesn't seem to do anything. So, let's try the spell check again. And that must still be a work in progress. You can save this as, it doesn't really give you an option to, to save it as. So I guess you can choose your own option. You can add it as part of a project. New project, close a file, document statistics. Oh, really handy. Uh, case management, I am guess it's coming at some point. And it's just got the changes. That was really great. And then the PopOS terminal. No, too much in the about and settings. Let's expand this here. We can show the header, typing focus, finalizing mouse, font settings, stretching. Okay. And then here, also profiles, I guess you can set it. Okay, I don't think that's been configured just yet. Let's try again now. Uh, profiles here, add a profile. Oh, wow, okay. So dark, make it light. Okay, so let's call this test profile. I'm just going to leave this all. This is a test. I'm going to make this uh, how to scale. Uh, light. Interesting. Um, and just to add profile, close that, come here, see profiles, test profile, and it shows I served test profile. Oh, that's cool. Let's close it and see if it remembers it's there. Profiles, and it's still there. Nice. Let's quit that. Okay, let's go back here. So we've looked at files, terminal, text, and uh, not much stuff here for Office included. System, system monitor. Okay, I need just about 7 gigs of memory, of hard uh, drive space, memory, 2.2 DCUs, uh, low CPU usage, all that's not really doing much. Um, oh, what I wanted to do here. Okay, using kind of 6.93. And Linux Pop OS. Awesome. Okay. Settings, desktop settings, so we can easily change our wallpaper. And so some really funky options out there. Some of these are some previous ones that were available before. I take it. So if I just click on that, um, and you'll see it applies pretty quickly. No lag, just apply. That's such a pretty beautiful wallpaper. Even has the normal options, third of third, same little pavement or displays, uh, slideshow, so you can change how often you want to change the image. Display, resolution, refresh rate, scale options, orientation, power, battery, okay, high performance. Uh, not too many options around the keyboard. Although it does have customization options, pretty similar options to 
kind of does remind me of how the GNOME desktop does it. I'm not going to lie. Uh, mouse options, natural scrolling, time and language. Well, this is completely wrong. Right? Like, I know most things don't do it like that, but this is the only thing I feel that's a little laggy. Um, just from the menu, and that's probably because it has so many items it has to actually, you know, work on here, or we'll do this with. There we go, there's a uh, 24 hour time. Time is wrong. Uh, okay, so let's actually, together, let's not set the time automatically. How do I set the time? That's the date and time. That's the time zone. Oh, it didn't save it. Yeah, that's a bug. I saw saving the time zone. Okay, users still needs to be built about some basic info about my machine here. It's pretty cool. Wayland. And egg. I mean, it's the withering environment is working so well in Wayland, he wouldn't even know. Uh, firmware section still needs to be built. And what I mean by that is, the air scratch, I haven't used many applications, but uh, that speed is amazing. Uh, can't right click on anything on the desktop yet. Uh, do not disturb. Up here. Power options. IP. Uh, audio options. Do we want things to be tiled or floating? Which is great. And coming back here, of course. Utilities. Not much else here to show you. And what I am interested in, and I'm sure a lot of people are. Oh, hello. Ooh, uh, broke it. Nice. Well, it is an alpha, so gotta be prepared for that. I okay, nothing in the crit. Oh, wow. And these options. So here's your C. So let's just do install. And you can see it's got here flat hub. Okay, that's taking a few moments. Um, when I click on these, uh, I don't think there's any options here that one can see. Um, I know. Do I want to enable or disable that? Uh, text paint, light game with great amount of options. Installed apps. Okay, so here's where those are. And the option for updates. And you can just see if your C got added, so you could either click open there, or just click here and see if it's already here yet. So, okay, I need to go to the library comment type, put in, and there it is. And here is VLC. What happened there? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.